Hi traders, welcome to this quick demonstration of how to set up the version 2.5 uh, statistical arbitrage engine uh, written by FX Algo Trader. We're in MT4 at the moment with the system um, running. I'm just going to close it now and start from scratch. So we have a, an empty MT4 screen. Click new chart. Um, if you're running, say, a euro dollar cable arbitrage, best to probably choose a chart which has, is one of the underlying pair. Um, preferably the most volatile of the two because it will receive more tick data which is will execute the actual program more frequently. Uh, remove the grid if you wish. Um, press Ctrl and N to get the navigator to display. Scroll down and select STD indicator V2.5 and you'll see the pair 1 and pair 2 data are Euro dollar and Euro yen by default. So we'll OK that. And we can now see the spread trace shown below with the spread, i.e. the relationship between the euro dollar and the euro yen in a light blue, the moving average of the spread in white and the upper and lower trigger levels uh, in dotted red and yellow respectively. What we now need to do is load the generic arbitrage engine, GenStar V2.5 from the Expert Advisors folder in the navigator, simply click OK, and on the next tick, the indicator will load. Sorry, the expert advisor will load, and it will auto configure itself. It will pick up the pair data from the underlying STD indicator, and also the location of the data labels, which is controlled by the STD indicator. So right away, if we can see, we need to tidy this screen up, this chart up, to make this easier to use. So I like candlesticks. So, and I also like to shift my chart over slightly to the, to the left. And you can fine tune this by using this chart shift um, control here. So that's about right for me. And I want to move my data labels now. So I go down to the STD indicator, right click on it, and now select or scroll down to the label X position. I'm going to change that value to 800, which will move my data labels over uh, outside the price action, the current price action on the chart. So that's um, the initial setup. Um, one thing I'd also mention is the system trades automatically um, off hourly and daily charts. So it, it out of the box when it's shipped, when you install it, if you run it on hourly or daily charts, it's, it's ready to go. Um, and that's controlled by some external input parameters in the expert advisor called trade-off. And here they are. You can see there are trade-off M1, M5, M15, etc., all the way through to weeklies and in fact monthlies. So out of the box, um, the system ships with trade-off H1 and trade-off D1 set to true. So be aware of that. It's probably not a bad idea when you first start just to set the trade-off parameters to all to false while you get a feel for how the system is configured. So trade-off time frame parameters are disabled on this chart. And that's a clue because that, that um, synthesize warning um, means that obviously the trade-off parameters are selected to false for this chart. Okay, so that's the initial setup and we'll go on on the next video to how you set up the STD indicator. Thanks very much for listening.